Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the diaper corner changing table with hamper and basket. Before we get started, make sure you look at all the parts included. If you're missing anything or have any damaged parts, please contact Badger Basket as shown in the end of the instructional video. This product also does come in various colors, but the assembly will be the same. So let's get started. For step one, you will need part A, the left center frame, part B, the right center frame. You will need two of part E, the front rails, two of part F, which are the rear rails, you will need eight of the Q bolts, eight of the barrel nuts, and four of the W pegs. For this step, what we're going to be doing is putting on the front rails to one of the center frames. I'm going to start with the right center frame, where when looking at the center frame, one side will have these ledges, which is going to go to the outside. The side that is flat is going to go to the inside, where the front rails and the rear rails are going to be coming off of. So when looking at the center frame, one of the sides will have the two holes. One hole goes all the way through, which is meant for the bolt to go into that front rail. The second hole is where a peg is going to go into to help secure this front rail in place. When looking at the front rail, you'll see that there's a, a hole here on the inside. This is meant for a barrel nut, so when the bolt goes through, it'll go through the barrel nut, which will securely hold it in place. So the bolt will go through this top one here, through that barrel nut, and the second hole is meant for the peg. This screw will then go towards the inside, and then we're going to do that for both this top one here and this bottom one here. Remember, the hole that goes all the way through is meant for the bolt, and the one that does not go all the way through is meant for the peg. So we will put this barrel nut in, we'll screw that bolt through the back, and put that peg in as well. For this demonstration, I will be using a drill to make it go a little bit faster. Feel free to use a drill as well. If you choose to use a drill, please make sure the torque settings are set on low so that you don't strip any of the pieces. Otherwise, feel free to use a hand Phillips screwdriver. Also, when putting in the barrel nuts into place, sometimes the barrel nut will not align with the bolt. The barrel nut does have a horizontal line here that needs to go horizontal. If it gets off kilter, up or down or anything like that, you may have to take a flathead screwdriver, turn it back so it's horizontal so that the bolt can go all the way through it. So sometimes we'll have to stop and adjust this barrel nut so that the bolt can go through. So let's get these front two rails into place. Next, what we're going to be doing is putting in the rear rails. When looking at these rails, you are going to see again that hole meant for the barrel nut, and then the, just one hole where a bolt's going to go through to securely hold in through that barrel nut. When looking at this rear rail, you're also going to notice some metal inserts here. These need to be facing upward. So when we're putting these on, we will have the barrel nut, the bolt going through, and that metal insert facing upward. And we're going to put both of these into place. One will be going up here towards the top and one at the bottom. So let's get these screwed into place. So next what we're going to be doing is putting on the next side, which is the B. Again, making sure that these ledges are facing out towards the outside, the flat side facing inward. These are going to connect up to these holes that we already have in place, these front rails and the rear rails. And again, doing the exact same thing as before. So the front rails, we're going to have that barrel nut that will go into here, where the bolt will be going through, and then a peg going into the other hole, the one that does not go through all the other side of that center frame. So let's do that on these, and then we're also going to be putting, again, the barrel nut and the bolt going through these, just mimicking what we did on the other side. So let's get this one put into place. For this step, you will need part C, the left side frame, three of part G, which are the left side rails. You will need three of the Q bolts, three of the W pegs, 
three of the R barrel nuts and six of the S bolts. So for this step, what we're going to be doing is putting on the left side rails. When looking at the left side rails, you're going to see one side that has a slant. This is going to go towards the rear of the part A center frame. And they're going to go into these metal inserts that you see along the side here at the three levels. This ledge also will be at the bottom so that it aligns with these ledges that we left on the outside. So when we bolt these into place, we're going to have all three at each level kind of angled inward to help make that triangle side. So we're just going to take the medium sized bolt and we're going to get these bolted into place. So let's do all three of them. Next what we're going to be doing is put on the left side onto the left center frame and onto these left rails that we already have into place. When looking at this left side here, you're going to see the two holes. These are going to correspond with the two holes at each level. One meant for the peg, one meant for the bolt, which is going to go all the way through into that barrel nut. So we are going to be putting a barrel nut into each of these left rails, and then the bolt will be going through this left side through those barrel nuts. So let's get all these barrel nuts put into place. Remember to keep that line horizontal so that the bolt can go through it. And then next what we'll be doing is putting in the pegs into each level on the holes that do not go all the way through. And then we'll be putting that bolt through that left side going through. And for this part you are going to be using the long bolts. So make sure that you use the longer of the two. The last thing you're going to be doing is putting these medium sized bolts into those last three remaining holes to hold this left side onto the left center frame. So let's get those screwed into place. For step three you will need part D, the right side frame. You will need three of part H, which are the right side rails, three of the Q bolts, six of the S bolts, three of the W pegs, and three of the R barrel nuts. So next what we're going to be doing is repeating what we did on the other side, but now coming off the right side. I did turn this around so that you can see from this angle. So now we're going to be taking these side rails coming off from this side. So it's just opposite of this side here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the side with the angle that's going to align to these metal inserts here. Ledge again will be at the bottom so it aligns with this one. And we're going to be taking that medium sized bolt and we're going to be bolting through at all three levels. So let's get these put into place. So next what we're going to be doing is putting on this right side frame. So this right side frame here is going to align like it did the other side, where the two holes up here, one is meant for the peg, one is meant for the bolt. The bolt, remember, goes all the way through, and it'll be going into this rail here, where you'll have that barrel nut in place, um, just on the other side here, to hold that bolt in. So first I'm going to put in those barrel nuts, then I'm going to be putting in the pegs at each level, and then I'll be bolting those three bolts in to hold this frame in place. The last thing we're going to be doing is putting the last three bolts into place to hold the last side of this frame in. So we're just going to be using those medium sized bolts at each level to get this bolted in. For step four, you will need part J, the top shelf, part I, the bottom shelf, two of part L, which are the basket tracks, four of the S bolts, and four of the T bolts. So for this step, what we're going to be doing is putting on the basket tracks first. When looking at these tracks, 
you'll see a flat thin side. You're going to want that facing upward and these holes going meeting up with these metal inserts. What we're going to do is we're going to take the medium sized bolts and we're going to bolt in through each side so that this tract is held into place. Then we'll take the other tract and repeat the exact same thing on this side, again having this thin flat piece going upward and then bolting in through those metal inserts on each side. So let's get these tracks into place. Next thing we're going to be doing is putting in the shells. The bottom shelf is just this rectangle one here. What it's going to do is it's going to slide on top of this rear rail here and go into this groove on the front rail here. Make sure that these holes that are on the shelf will align with these holes that we're going to screw the smallest bolt down into to hold that shelf into place. Then we're going to do the same thing with the top shelf where it's going to go up on top here. Make sure it slides nicely into that groove and then make sure that the holes align here. You're going to have the point coming off the rear and then bolt down using those shortest bolts. I'm going to turn this so that I can get these into place a little bit better, but I'm going to screw both these shelves down into place. For part 5, you will need 6 of the K side shelves, part M, which is the changing pad with belt, part N, the fabric pad cover, you will need 18 of the X screws, 2 of the U bolts that come with the 2 V nut and washers. For this step, what we're going to be doing is putting in the side shelves into each of these levels that we made with those corner triangles. So each of these triangles has a hole that kind of goes around on each of the sides. We're going to be putting a screw down on each of these sides into these little ledges on the inside here to hold these shelves down to place. So each shelf should rest on these ledges and then we're going to put the three screws down in each of those holes. So we're going to do that for all six shelves, the three on the other side, and we'll get these all screwed down. This step is very important to make sure that we're securing this pad down to the table for the safety of the child. First what we're going to be doing is putting this bolt through this hole that you'll see in the strap on each side. So once we put this bolt through here, we're then going to be putting this bolt through this hole on this top panel. When it goes through this hole, we're going to be putting a washer on first and then we're going to screw up the nut to keep this bolt securely held into place. This way this pad will be secured to the table. We're going to do this on both sides. So first let's get this side, again putting the bolt through the strap, through this top board into that hole, then putting this washer underneath first, and then we're going to secure it in place by twisting this nut going up. So I'm going to kind of loosely myself twist it as high as I can. Then I'm going to take a screwdriver and tighten this bolt down like so. Then what we're going to do is we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. 
again, the bolt going through that hole in the strap, down through this top hole in this top panel, putting on the washer, and securing it into place with this nut. And then I'm going to secure this into place. So now that this pad is firmly held onto this top panel here, then we can put on the cover onto the mattress pad. Essentially this just goes right over the top of this whole pad. And when you're looking at the cover, you're going to see these two slots on both sides. This is where we'll just thread these straps through. So that this cover is also held into place. We'll do the same thing on this side. And then you can buckle your baby in for safety. For step six, you will need the folding hamper and bottom panel, and you'll need part P the basket, body, and bottom panel. So for this step, what we're going to be doing is you're going to take the basket body, you're going to unfold it like so, you're going to be putting in the bottom panel into the bottom of the basket body so that it holds its shape. Push it firmly down in all the corners, and then we're going to slide this up into place. And we're going to repeat the same thing with this bottom one. We'll unfold it here. We'll put the bottom panel down to the bottom. Firmly push it down to place. And then this will go into the bottom. And that concludes the assembly for the diaper corner changing table with hamper and basket. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, to contact Badger Basket as shown in the next clip. Badger Basket thanks you for watching and enjoy.